Hi everybody, it's Nicole. So um, today I am planning on um, kind of quickly putting together um, the uh, lumpias or what would be Filipino style um, egg rolls. Um, I'm planning on making pork ones and shrimp ones. Um, I'm gonna make the shrimp ones um and then um later on today just because i'm short on time i will be making the pork ones but i just kind of wanted to give you the um gist of like how the filling is made and then um i um and then of course uh we'll see how how much time i have whether or not i will be able to um, show you how to uh, uh, wrap the actual lumpia itself because the filling needs to be cooled in order for me to do so. Um, but in any case, I went ahead and there is a lot, a lot of chopping that goes into it um, as far as vegetables and whatnot. And so, and the reason why I'm doing a seafood one is is because uh, one of my husband's coworkers is um, she's a pescatarian, so she only eats um, seafood. So I kind of wanted to accommodate her, and um, because from my what my husband said is, is they they never order any sort of vegetarian anything to. Um, to so that she is able to eat anything when they do like some sort of like group lunch or whatever so um i thought it would be fun to try this out because i've never made a shrimp uh lumpia um but i have made pork uh so we i've so i've done all of the chopping of the vegetables i'll show you the vegetables um so and the vegetables and then the um like the shrimp and stuff so it's a uh, half a cup of uh, shrimp you can choose whatever size shrimp you want um, it has been shelled and deveined and chopped and then um, this is um, one bok Chinese style cabbage. Oh my god, my brain is just drawing a blank. But anyway, um, uh, the recipe says to just essentially you're gonna just throw it all in the pan. So um, and which uh, normally I don't do it that way, but I figured since I'm short on time, why not do it that way? Because it's gonna cook down either way. It's kind of like spinach it's gonna uh, cook all the way down. I'm not gonna use all of this because it's uh, two of the three um, heads that I bought. So hold on one second, I'll show you what it looks like uh, before I chopped it. Uh, so this is, uh, I bought three. I went to the Asian market. I bought, um, so it came in a pack of three. I used two. Um, they were actually kind of small, uh, but that's okay. Um, and then um, I chopped up um, one clove of garlic, and then I took um, some ginger. I peeled some of it, and I just mashed the crap out of it. Um, I'm going to take it out. I'm not going to put it into the actual um, lumpia itself just because it tends to be very strong tasting. And then um, uh, the carrots as well. Um, I'm going to just throw apart. And I'm not going to use all of this. It's just uh, three carrots peeled and then uh, sliced up. Um, and then the other thing is is i got lung uh bean sprouts it, i bought a one pound bag and i washed it um i always wash it always wash it um and i blanched it so that's what it looks like 
And then, so what I'm gonna do first is I am going to pause you. I'm going to switch the camera so that you can see what I am doing in the pan as I am cooking it. So I'm gonna raise the arm to my, uh, my camera so that um, it doesn't like, the oil doesn't like splatter everywhere because uh, the pan is on the hot side. So um, I'm going to flip it so that I can see what I'm doing a little bit easier on the bigger screen and anyway so um and so essentially what and then as for seasoning I'm not going to do anything like quote unquote exotic it's going to be salt and pepper other than the other um seasonings which is the uh you know the garlic and the ginger is just going to be salt and pepper and that's it uh because it calls for like fish sauce it calls for um japanese uh like vinegar and all of that i don't want to freak anybody out with any of that stuff so we're going to keep it as neutral as possible and um because i think uh with the ingredients that i have i think it'll come out great uh, either way. So um, as far as the pork recipe, it'll... Um, oh, and the other thing that I'm going to be adding is soy sauce. So, um, and how I normally do the soy sauce is by eye. Um, so I would say maybe about a third of a cup. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. Um, so yeah so about a third of a cup of soy sauce um but we'll see um and that's that's pretty much it um and so the ingredients for the pork portion the pork one is exactly the same thing it's gonna have the cabbage it's gonna have the um the sprouts it's gonna have uh so it's gonna have the sprouts, it's gonna have the cabbage, it's gonna have the um, garlic, it's gonna have the ginger, it's gonna have the carrots. And the only difference is, is that it's going to have ground pork instead of shrimp. That's it. So I'll be making more of the ground pork than I am of the shrimp because I want to have some uh, so that I can keep at home because um, I'm going to be making something to go with it because it's normally a side dish and um, uh, it you can serve it with uh, I bought this uh, Thai sweet chili sauce um, I seen it served with this there is a vinegar style um, sauce uh, I might make that for dinner t uh, tonight because that's what everybody at my house likes. Uh, but um, you can buy this at Walmart in the uh, in the international aisle. So um, let's get going on making everything, um, and it's gonna go really quick because uh, you don't ever want to overcook the shrimp because otherwise you're gonna end up with rubbery uh, shrimp and nobody likes rubbery seafood. So um, uh, all you'll hear from now, from this point on will be my voice and uh, let's hope everything turns out since this is the first time I'll be making this particular recipe, all right? Okay, for whatever reason, um, I didn't hit record. So, okay, so we're gonna go over what we have in here. Um, oh, I am so sorry. Okay, you guys missed out on, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the pork because we have time for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the shrimp filling in a bowl. Okay. And the only difference between the shrimp filling and the pork filling is the fact that one has shrimp and the other has 
One has shrimp, the other has pork. All right. So, um, as um, the pan is heating up, I'm gonna let the shrimp filling cool off. And I am so sorry for not letting you guys see that, but it I tasted it. It was very good. Okay, so we're gonna put some um, canola oil in here. I'm gonna heat that up. Okay, so what is gonna go into the pork filling is as follows. It's gonna be a little bit of garlic here some ginger that I bashed, some carrots, um, some Napa cabbage, some ground um, pork, some blanched mung bean sprouts, and then soy sauce or shoyu, that um, unfortunately we don't have any other brand here and then um, what i'm using to wrap it is this which is the same brand that i get when i am in hawaii as you can see it says filipino lumpia okay so all right okay first thing that is going to go in is the ginger and the garlic we're gonna get that going turn that up i can't believe i didn't hit record figures okay so like i said it's the recipe is pretty much the same. The only difference is, is um, the kind of meat. Uh, one has shrimp, the other has um, pork. Uh, I'm going to be making more pork than I'm going to make shrimp um, because it's, the shrimp is essentially some is for like one of Dan's porkers. She is pescatarian and she um, only eats like vegetables and um, and seafood. So next is the pork. Um, and make sure you keep an eye on the uh, the garlic um because you don't want it to burn once it's burnt you need to essentially dump everything out and start all over again so if you need to turn the heat down turn the heat down which is what i did because the garlic is already starting to brown and I don't want to have to chop the garlic all over again. Okay, so pork is going in. Put that 
it back up. That's the one thing that's hard about electric is the heat portion of it. Up and down, up and down, up and down. So, um, I am, because I left the uh, ginger in big pieces, I will be pulling the ginger out. I just want the flavor of the ginger in the, um, with the mixture. So once I feel that I have infused the uh, ginger flavor in uh, enough, I will be pulling them out. Season this just salt and pepper. Not gonna do anything crazy. It's gonna just be salt and pepper and soy sauce. That's it. Um, and it will take a little bit of time for this um, filling to cool down. So what I will do here in a little bit is I will show you really quickly how you are to um, fold uh, the filling into the wrappers. I'll open up the package and I'll show you how it's. It should be done because the thing is is that the filling needs to be a hundred percent cool uh, for you to add it to your wrapper otherwise the wrapper will melt do not add the filling uh, to your wrapper while it is warm or it will fall apart turned that on before okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the ginger out this one and there's the other piece When I was lucky enough, my mom um, got me an early Christmas present. She bought me a new Instant Pot. So I will be able to use my Instant Pot, my new Instant Pot here soon. And I have a feeling that I'm going to sneeze here in just a second. Oh my gosh, I hate that feeling when you're gonna sneeze and then it doesn't happen. Okay. Okay, so make sure that your meat is um, fully cooked. There's no more pink. I really need to get my um, that tool that I had that like would help me mash my hamburger up. I got rid of it when I moved. There were a lot of things I had to get rid of, but I can always get another one. It wasn't like it was $10,000 or something, so I donated it um, to the Salvation Army. Oh my gosh, and I need something to drink. Okay. The ground pork is almost done. 
Now I'm going to add my carrots. Yes, I'm using paper plates, less dishes. Because later on today when I fi like start filling and wrapping, it's going to be like at least a couple of hours of filling and wrapping, filling and wrapping, filling and wrapping. So I'm hoping that I will have enough time for filling and wrapping so that I can um, then fry um, so that uh, fry everything and uh, in between make dinner to send off uh, and to send the, these off with my uh, husband for tomorrow okay um, and the nice thing too just FYI is if you choose to make these and you don't fry them you can just throw them in a ziploc so if you you know you fill them up, um, fill and wrap them up and seal uh, seal them shut, put them in a Ziploc bag, you know, a, um, one of those freezer Ziplocs, and you put them in the freezer. Um, you can definitely do that, and then later on uh, take out so many and just freeze or uh, fry them. It's not like like you would have to uh, do it where you. Um, make them now and then wrap them and then fry them right away you can make the filling fill the wrappers seal them up put it in a ziploc and stick it in um the freezer and uh, uh my mom used to do that all the time so that you can you know pull them out you can you know pull out so many at a time and then deep fry them when you want to Okay, so next that's going to go in is the Napa cabbage. And this might seem like a lot, but it's not. Um, it's kind of like spinach where there's a lot of water in it, so it will cook down. So I'm just gonna leave that sit there for a minute while it cooks down some. All right, I am just getting one of the wrappers and I'm gonna show you really quick what, it, what one, one wrapper looks like and give you an idea of what uh, you should be doing when you are in the process of uh, wrapping them. Um, and one of the things is to remember to keep the wrappers damp. 
uh, what you should be doing is uh, take a paper towel and uh, get the paper towel down and put it over the wrapping, uh, put it over the wrapper. Okay, so um, I am going to move the camera so you can see what I am doing. Okay, so you see my wrapper here. So what you wanna do is you wanna make it so that it is in the shape of a diamond. So what you will do is you will take your filling and you will, now this is how I do it. Other people will do it differently. So don't jump all over me if this is not how you do it. So what you will do is, is you'll take uh, one, to two, two, one to two tablespoons and put it um, right here, not at the edge, not, not at the edge where this corner is, but uh, give it like a couple of inches here and put it here, okay? And then what you'll do is then you will fold it over and then you will take uh, one corner Fold it over, fold the old uh, second corner over, fold it over so that it looks like an envelope, okay? And then what you do is you will roll and roll and roll until you get to where you're um, almost to the other end of the uh, wrapper. Then what you will do is, what I take do is, is I take a little bit of flour and a little bit of water, um, a flour mixture, mix it up together so like kind of like a, a flour slurry, but it needs to be really liquidy. You will then uh, take your finger and rub it here at the corner and roll it up and press down so that it seals, okay? And then that's it. You're good to go, um, and then you move on to the next one, and, and then so on, and so on, and so on. So I'll show you again. Um, and let me quick uh, mix the filling. I'll show you what I'm doing with the filling. Again, the seasoning is not like uh, crazy, it's just salt and pepper and then I will be adding the soy sauce here in just a minute. It'll be approximately just under a third of a cup, not a whole lot because you don't want, you don't want this liquid in with your filling, okay? So when you are getting ready to start um, filling your um, your lumpias, do not, I repeat, do not include that liquid in with your um, your lumpia. Otherwise, again, when you put it together, your uh, wrapper will fall apart. And not only that, but when you fry it, your wrapper will disintegrate. You will end up with just burnt uh, filling at the bottom of uh, your fryer. Um, so do not include this liquid, okay? And all that liquid, it, um, it came from the, um, the Napa cabbage, okay? If you want more Napa cabbage, have at it. Add more. If you want more carrots, add more carrots. If you want less more or less um, ground pork or you know whatever, add less. Whatever it is that you want to do, go ahead and do it. Um, for me, this looks good. Um, this makes me happy um, because this is how I learned how to do it. It's not necessarily what you would call traditional. Um, I am not Filipino, so uh, my word is not the gospel. 
this is just how I learned it from my mom, okay? And the last vegetable that needs to be added is the blanched mung bean filling. Or the mung beans, the blanched mung beans. So let me just get that in there. And, and in reality, if you want to find out what like more traditional style um, lumpia is, you can Google it. It's out there. Um, it's just sometimes it's hard to find the ingredients. So you just kind of got to make do with what you got. And that's what I've done is I've made, you know, I've made do with what I've got. So, I'm like throwing everything everywhere. Um, okay. Part of my mess. I will be cleaning that up after I am done cooking everything and all the fillings when I'm done will be going into the refrigerator to cool off and then the last thing that I'm going to be adding is the soy sauce or shoyu and this is a pro a, an approximation of what I see as maybe a third of a cup give or take it's just to give it a little bit of I don't know what I think is needed. Just trying to get this out of the way here. Okay. Um, and with the filling and the soy sauce and the seasonings and stuff, um, I just let it simmer for a little bit so that um everything can uh you know marinate together and be delicious okay and um i know that it's going to take a little bit for the fillings to cool off and, um I have to be somewhere in a little less than an hour, which is fine uh, because it'll give time for the fillings to cool off. And then I can sit down at the table and do my fillings. And then once that's done, start frying. Okay, so we're going to let this simmer and then I'll show you one more time how to do the wrapping. I'm, I'll bring the camera closer. Okay, so, um, and it's important to make sure you keep the wrapper moist. So make sure you, when you have the wrappers, you um, take a piece of paper towel and you um, get it damp and put it over your wrappers. Otherwise, they will stick together and be hard as a rock. Okay, so, um, let me just pull this up just a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit better. Okay, so, like I said, um, this is, you wanna turn it so that it's in the shape of a diamond, so you can see, okay? Put your filling approximately here from the edge. And then what you'll do is you'll roll it under your filling, okay? You'll take one side of the diamond and fold it over. And take the other side, fold it over. And then what you'll do is you'll roll 
and roll and roll and then I make a flower slurry so that's like uh, some flour and water mix it together and you uh, I put, just dip my finger in it make obviously you make sure your fingers uh, and hat or your hands are nice and clean and you put it at the edge there and you roll it so that you can seal it shut because if you don't and you uh, try to fry it it's gonna fall apart um, and then you move on to the next so um, that is um, pretty much it so it might seem complicated but it, it really isn't it's just a matter of figuring out what you want as a filling and the part that takes the longest is um, doing the wrapping and the frying so um, and the nice thing is is um, if you can see here on the back of the package it shows you how to wrap uh, your egg roll slash um, lumpia so there's instructions okay so that's pretty much it uh, for today hopefully you enjoyed this I apologize that I did not uh, hit record so you can see the shrimp one um, but you did get to see uh, how I made the pork uh, I will be making them into pork lumpias and then uh, I will be making a handful of them into uh, pork uh, not want to me they're not going to be wontons they're going to be uh, gyozas so all I'll be doing is filling them and uh, frying them easy peasy so I'm going to put these back in the refrigerator I'm going to shut the fire off of this Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that. And again, I apologize um, that I, duh, did not hit the record button for the uh, shrimp portion. Uh, but uh, I do hope you enjoyed it and uh, that I can think of something else to make and share with you guys. Um, Tomorrow, depending on how I feel after all the cooking that I'll have done today, um, I will sit down maybe on the floor or something and uh, take a look at that uh, beanie pattern and maybe that'll be my uh, re uh, relaxing day of crocheting because uh, there is a pattern that I saw that I really would like to try and um, We'll see how uh, how I feel about it uh, tomorrow because it's it's been a rough one. So, um, but anyway, uh, I I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if uh, I can write out my recipe again, this is my recipe, uh, not anybody else's. I can do so and I will share it with you and then in the meantime I will uh, see you next time if you made it through this far thank you so much I really appreciate it uh, and in the meantime I uh, I hope you can hit subscribe like hit the notification button and leave a comment below that means a lot to me and um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye